Looking to trade your old bulk for some of the latest Pokemon booster boxes? Well, check ccgcastle.com. The process is very simple. Send in 1400 cards and get a brand new sealed booster box back. We ship boxes worldwide for free once we get your cards. Make sure to check video description or check ccgcastle.com for more information. Looking to grade your Pokemon cards and you don't know how to do it? Check out Lutkin's Collectibles and grade your Pokemon cards with zero risk. Check video description or visit lutkinscollectibles.com for more. How's it going Poké fans? Once again, welcome back to Pokémon TCG Center. In today's video, we'll be looking at updated version of the uh, Xerneas Rainbow Force deck for the Santa format. A um, little bit working on this deck list and so far I can say it's a decent one, it's a good one, but always I'm short for that last prize card victory against my opponent. Um, it's a good thing that you can trade one prize for two prize cards as long as you don't have um, EX or GX Pokemon on your bench. So speaking about Tapu Lele and Volcanion, which can definitely help significantly. So running 15 Pokemons, 33 trainer cards and 12 energies. The main attacker is of course Xerneas with the Rainbow Force. So this attack does 30 damage for each different type of your bench. So for each different type we can hit for 30. And just theoretically speaking, if we have Glowantula, um, Bishop, and of course Volcano, we already have six of them, so that's like 180 plus 10, that's 190. With the Finding Fury Belt, we can go up to 200. And if we have one more type, that's gonna be even 30 more, or actually 230 for the knockout. 2-1 um, Bishop line, 2-1 Glowantula line, uh, with one copy of Tapu Koko. Uh, one Oranguru for that Instruct Draw, and of course, uh, two Tapu Leles and uh, one Volcanion EX from the Pokemon list. Also, good thing about Double Tread is that you can hit um, two of your po opponent's Pokemon on the bench for like a 30. Kind of like that because we can hit for like a 60 um, two of our opponent Pokemons if they're actually weak on the grass or onto the um, lighting, for example. So we can one hit knockout, two Rem Rides, just like that. In addition to that, of course, from the item cards, winning two field blowers, kind of good card because it can disrupt our opponent's stadium, um, flowstone, maybe fighting fury belt or something like that. Four max elixirs for that energy acceleration, of course, it's very important, as well as one copy of rescue stretcher and one super road for that Pokemon and energy recycle or recover, as well as one special charge, one copy of town map just to see what type of the price cards do I have. Then I'm running four Ultra Balls, and of course I decided to go with two copies of Fairy Garden, so I can have free retreat between my Pokemons with Fairy Energy attached. In addition to that, of course, I'm running one Bridget, two Guzmas, and four of each, and, and Professor Sycamore. I'm speaking about tool cards, I'm running six of them, uh, two XP shares, because it's kind of a good card, it can preserve the energy after we took the knockout, so we can just attack with another Xerneas in theory. Um, two Fighting Fury Belt, so we can have 10 extra damage and 40 extra HP. And some certain matchups, 40 extra HP is much better than having chance to hit with the Choice Band for extra 30. Two Flow Stones and 12 Energies, 4 DCEs and 8 regular basic Fairy Energy cards. If you're looking for any of these cards, make sure to check ccgcastle.com. Link is provided in my video description. Um, TCG Center 5 code will also provide you with 5% discount only on your first purchase. So everything you need to know can be found in my video description. If you're looking to grade your Pokemon cards, you can also check lootkingscollectible.com. Link for that is also provided in my video description. It's a pretty good service to grade your Pokemon cards with zero risk. So let's do some battles so you can actually see this deck in action. So see you in the game. All right, so let's take the look who's gonna start first well looks like my opponent can go first because he just won that coin flip taking a closer look to my opening hand and i can definitely say that i'm not happy with it just the palm yard with two with xp share and super road featuring two energies and two sycamores um yeah way too many resources looks like are gonna be um lost by Playing that Sycamore, that's just obvious. On the other side, my opponent started with the Remoride. Um, these days, Octillery can be played in any type of the deck. 
and right now I'm gonna see the Bridget without top Lele play which is a huge advantage at the third one because you can have that top Lele play for later into the Guzma or something else two Bullpix and one Tapu Koko for my opponent okay so I know against type what type of the deck I'm gonna play and basically I'm looking forward to face Alola Nintles here Oh, and I managed even to draw into the, okay, into the special charge. So I lost two very important cards here, if you're going to ask me. Um, I do have Flowstone available, which I'm not going to play. Um, I'm going to put that top Layla on the bench, just, you know, to get that Bridget in my hand, I might be playing that Bridget next turn, I will see about that. I'm looking forward to playing one of my Max Elixirs and Attach Energy somewhere, like Top LLS for example, and then just hitting him with the Charge Order for like a 10, and that's mainly it. I do have Flowstone, I do have Anne, um, there's a Brooklyn Hill, okay. Brooklyn Hill can give me the opportunity to look at my um, deck and see what type of cards I do have left. <clears throat> Plus, I can also grab myself Vulcanian and put him on the bench, for example. This is the good thing about Brooklyn Hill. And there's one more Ultra Ball for my opponent. That Ultra Ball is probably going to be for Tapu Lele right now, or maybe not, because he discarded two Sycamores. So it's going to be for Artillery, of course, so he can have a Beazle Hint. Okay. A Beazel hand for four. If there's not going to be a float stone, I'm more than happy. It's very important to somehow get rid of the artillery. I do have an available in my hand, which I'm probably going to play. I could also go with the Bridget. Somehow I think it's much smarter to go with the Bridget at the next turn. Um, putting on the bench Xerneas, another Xerneas, and maybe Orangru. Oh, so my opponent surprised me there with the N. All right. That's pretty nice from him. Let's go with the N and to the nothing. So I drew pretty much almost dead hand here. Um, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just grab that Volcano and see what else do I have left. Okay, nothing that good. I have something on my mind, like trying to snipe his bench if I get lucky there. With my Galvantula, for example. So I just need Galvantula. And unfortunately for me, I didn't find Galvantula. So that's pretty bad. Um, again, I'm gonna hit just for like a 10 with my charge order, and that's just completely disaster for me right now. I'm just breaking hard here, having a hard time finding the resources that I need. And finally, there's a flowstone for my opponent, so right now he can just get knocked out against my Joltik, which is a pretty bad thing. But if he do that... Then, for example, I can go for 180 with my Bisharp. Unfortunately, again, it's not enough for the knock against that Ninetales. So that's the reason why Galvantula would be such a nice thing here. Um, there is the Ultra Ball. Yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't do that. The only problem for me, actually, is that he can just use Ice Pad GX and remove all of the damage counters back to my pawn yard actually for on the bishop in that case so in that situation i'm just thinking about probably hitting him as hard as i can with my top LGX. so that's the ultra ball for the second of all ninetals of course, he still needs to find a way to attach energy card. I still didn't see energy attached. Oh, there's a top of Leila. So this might be for a supporter card like uh, N. 
and it's for the mellow okay so with the mellow he can search his deck for any two cards and put them on the top deck and then just simply grab them with the abyssal hand <clears throat> And I actually like that. So, mellow into two. Probably energy card and who knows, maybe even uh, aqua patch. I'm not sure how many energies he have. Oh, he have zero energies in his discard pile. Probably a energy card, so he can definitely knock out my Joltik on the bench, and who knows what else. Well, energy is here, and uh, he can have that retreat right now with the Octillery. And then he can simply use Ice Blade and hit my Joltik, so he decided to knock out my Joltik with no energy card. Okay, I actually, I'm actually happy because of that. Um, let's go first with the field blower. All right, stadium can be discarded as well as the artillery. Um, after that, I desperately need to find something good here with the Bridget, so I decided to take my Orangru and my Xerneas and put them onto the bench. Energy should be attached somewhere, as well as the Lodestone and that Fighting Fury belt. And of course, that instruct. Let's see what we can find with it. Ultra Ball would be nice. And there it is, Ultra Ball. So I can grab myself a B Sharp. But I can also go with my Galventula, for example. Knocking out his Octillery on the bench. Which might be even a better option, in my opinion. Yeah, I think this would be much better than hitting him for just 180 because then he can just use his ice pad and one two three four five six seven yeah i'm gonna do that will i have enough he had 20 damage counters and i can go for like a 60 well that's not enough for the knockout um okay well in that situation in this certain situation, then I'm gonna just go with my Retaliate for like uh, 180. Well, if there was a choice ban, it would be enough for the knockout, but unfortunately I'm not running choice bans. And he can definitely go with the Ice Pad GX. He can go with the Ice Pad GX if he wants, even versed if he get access to the Guzma. He can just knock out my... Um, Vulcanion, even versus that Xerneas on the bench. There's definitely two options. The best one is to use just that Ice Pad GX and get rid of the um, energies, of course. So I'm going to put my Joltik in the front. Because of the free retreat, I have one, two, three, four, five types on the bench, and there is a max elixir for the energy, and there we go with the energy attachment down to my Xerneas. I definitely need drop support right now, so I can cam come back um, into this game. It looks like I'm gonna grab that N, or maybe Sycamore. I think I'm gonna go with my N, just because I want to preserve my xp share and looks like i did a good job here so let's just first retreat evolve right now i need to count how many types of the pokemons do i have in play one two three four five six so that's like 190 which means i'm gonna need one more pokemon here and I'm definitely going to grab another Xerneas and put him onto the bench. I can still attach energy cards. And I can go with my Rambo Force for 220. So that's more than enough, actually 230, for the one hit knocked against his Nitals. Right now my opponent actually will need <clears throat> a couple more things to come back in this game. He will need, of course, energy and... Uh, Aqua Patch in order to one hit knock on my Xerneas, but after that I can easily respawn knocking back his Alola Ninetales GX, and after that I don't see reason 
I don't see how he can recover from this game. Um, maybe by playing double course energy to his top Olele and just hitting me for like 100, still not, not going to be 120 for the knockout. So as the thing's looking right now, um, I'm in much better position. So there's another Vulpix, and there we go with the end. So I just lost my Guzma, Town Map, and that Fairy Energy card. That's okay. And I managed to bring even better hand than I did have. So there's again Guzma, um, Rescue Stretch for an Ultra Ball. Plenty of good resources. Um, okay, so I still have two max elixirs, but tiny amount of energy cards left. <clears throat> I still have a few different attackers to use. All right, I just need that one energy card so I can go for the knockout against my opponent. Nine tools, there is no question about that. 160. Okay, that's the knockout. Let's see how to respond to my opponent knockout with his nine tools. Well, I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is oh, nice town map. Let's reveal the cards. Okay, no sign of the energy. Um, rescue stretcher for nothing less than the Xerneas because I desperately need it. Ultra Ball for nothing. And right now for me it's very important to hit at least Max Elixir or Energy card or Supporter card. Okay, I guess the best thing was to hit that Professor Sycamore in my opinion. Um, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Um, Max Elixir will give me the access to the Energy card. So I can have it. Then energy attachment from my hand, then easily retreat down to my Xerneas, and then basically 220 with the Rainbow Force. So I'm going down to the two cards. I'm gonna grab um, Max Elixir and another Xerneas. <clears throat> so in this situation, I think I won this game. I just need to pull two more prize cards. And that's pretty much it. So in order to pull two prize cards, I can just strike twice with my Golventula, which will be more than enough for the knockout against his Vulpix and uh, Octillery. Or I can just go with uh, two Rainbow Force in a row, which will again give me the opportunity for the knockout. So there is a Rescue Stretcher, um, which is going to be for that Ninetals. Okay, so he have the access to the another Ninetals. And this is probably, this might even be a knockout against my Xerneas, but again, I have enough resources left and another Xerneas in my hand for that extra knockout against his Alola Ninetals, so I definitely don't need to worry too much about that. Let's see what he can grab with another Rescue Stretcher here. Um, so he decided to shuffle a couple back Bullpicks and Ninetals in his deck. In my opinion, that was a very huge mistake. You shouldn't do that, especially if you really want to find a way to get you know, um, Aqua Patch and Energy card, and he decided to retreat down to the Ninetals, which means this is the GG, mainly because, oh, there's a Guzma. Okay, I'm still confused with this decision. Okay, I know what he's trying to find. He's basically trying to find here maybe a way to knock out my Vulcanion, but since he retreated, that's not enough. And I even have another double core energy, which I'm not gonna play. I'm just gonna use my. Huh. I should go with my Ultra Ball, discarding that Fairy Garden and N. Taking nothing. And right now, I can attach the energy just, just in case because I have Ranguru and I'm going to use my Rainbow Force for the knockout, of course. I think he played two Guzmas. 
so probably he don't have another one. Plus I can also use my Professor Sycamore, <clears throat> just in case if I will need that Sycamore for 7. So I can have all cards that I need to uh, win this game. Of course, the only thing that my opponent can hope is that I don't have another Flowstone or Chance to Retreat, to play another Guzman on my Vulcanian and then simply fill Blower, that Flowstone from him, or even worst, Blizzard edge me for like 380, removing two of my Pokemon's type from play, which is even a worst thing right now. And... Whew, a little bit hard decision to do. Because next turn he can definitely max me out. Okay, so he will need just one energy card. It looks like I'm gonna lose actually this game at the end. So I have one, two, three, four, five types on my bench. That's like 160. I don't have Guzma available, not even Escape Rope or nothing. Um, which means that the only thing I can do is use my Double Tread, which I should use at the turn before. Yeah, I can just hit for 60, and that's not enough for the Nugget against Octillery. And who would say that at the end my opponent will win this game? Uh, this is just not a true. So, yeah, I should actually do that before. I don't know why I didn't do that. And, yeah, basically... This is the reason why I lost the game because of the double tread. Should do that actually a couple turns before and then I wouldn't have a problem. There's a DCE and there's the victory against um, that. Yeah, I, I basically didn't count and he had three Guzmans but he had three Guzmas in his hand, so that was basically enough to come back with uh, Triple Guzma. So Triple Guzma actually bring my opponent victory, so that's the GG. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. The deck list is actually here. It was definitely a very good battle. Um, once again, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Let me know also in the comments below what you think about this deck list. So stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a nice day wherever you are. And uh, goodbye.